All right, Benny Briscoe got me going on. He's been posting some really cool things. I missed the fight game. Guys like Ali, Sugar Ray Leonard, Roberto Duran, you know, these guys, Hagler, they were just warriors, but intelligent entertainers, man. These guys were unbelievable fighters, and they were a show. They were entertaining, you know what I mean? They were class guys. I mean, there's nothing. Now, not only did I miss it, there's fighters out there, but nobody with any kind of um, staying ability. It's like music. There's nobody there anymore. We got to go back to classic rock and roll or this hip hop. You know, I can't. I can't stand it. This the rap thing. But I'm not here to talk about what I like and what I don't like. I just missed the fight game, and I love it. And Benny Briscoe been posting some really cool stuff. So what I want to say. Everybody wants to be a fighter. Everybody likes to do it a little bit. Every guy wants to like get in there and fight. You know what I mean? We all want to get in there and you know we have dreams and we fight. So what I'm trying to say is, I tried it. I was training with the guys, the Montgomery County Boys Club. You know, first we were enemies. We were growing up. When I was 16, 17, and I went to go fight Joey and you know, all that bullshit. We had a bunch of drama, and I fought him in this little barn with the horses biting our necks and blood all over the place. And his dad told him if anybody touches me, he'll kill him. So pretty much I'm alive because of that. But we became friends. And I used to train up the gym. I loved it. I jump rope five, ten rounds and fucking, you know, box, shadow box, five rounds. And to get in there, bing, bang, boom, you know, and the, the old man's like, you're pretty good, you know. I'd, that black thing, I had to put it in my kids, you know what I mean? Because I don't like to get hit. I'm like, Boo! I'll hit, bing, bang, and I run, you know, get that. <laughs> so I could dance a little bit, and so I had the edge. So a couple of us started training. It was all late. We were, you know, late 20s, you know, not, you know, middle 20s, I guess. You're supposed to start when you're 16 and 17, but we were just training in the gym. I'm not going to say any names, but it was me, Tony Gambone, and, uh, Dave Salvo and a couple other guys, we were a little older. But we started getting better and better, so we wanted to fight in the ring. And they would have the variety club, and it went, the money went to the cripple people, you know, in their wheelchairs and you know, child development and stuff like that. So it's for kids, it's a great thing. And they'd be outside and there'd be 1,500 people there, it was amazing. At the General Washington on Egypt Road, we'd have a fight and everybody would come. And then that later on, the guys were pros and there'd be 200 people down Norristown, from Norristown down at the fights at the casinos, the Clarids, the Playboy resorts that started in the beginning. And you, anywhere you went, you seen people you know. It was just a great time, you know. Whatever you care about the guys, they're bad, they're good. You know, that they made a place to go for everybody. And you know, you cheer your guys are fighters. There's five fighters, pro fighters. You know, we go down there, and they won a lot. You know, it, it was great. It was a great time. Stevie was actually good. Stevie was a fighting motherfucker to everybody. Joe Thomas, everybody was like, they were good. The old man taught you defense. When we first started boxing, you want to get in and tangle, you're not allowed to fight for the first couple months. You just got to catch the jab, get out of the way of the right, and then duck. So you're boop, 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 you're what, what, and then, and then we're got to throw punches, correct punches, little jab. Right hook, yeah, right hook. We want to hit that, and you, the other guy, we got to go boom, boom, boom. So if you get hit with one, boom, 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 you get hit with all of them. So if you don't catch, boom, 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 you start getting tired and mixed up. And some guys would cheat. I'm not going to say any names, but Tony Gambone would take a shot at you. Like, he'd hit you with two, because he'd go right at him. And if you start getting on a good, you could actually walk at the guy. you catch the jab, get out of the way of the right, and get under. So you're going bing, bing, you know, the whole thing. And if you mess up one, you get all three. So for the first couple months, we're not even allowed to hit anybody, each other. Other guys are learning the punches that we're all even in the beginning, so they got to throw correct punches, and you get out of get out of the way after you jump rope, hit the bag, five rounds, five rounds, five rounds, and before all that, they had this road called Smith Road. If you had to run Smith Road. And Stevie, he's living clean, you know, he didn't smoke or do anything, you know, them guys, they run, they come back, they're sweating, and then he gets in the ring, and Drew comes up and throws all the thousand punches, Drew Polly, Drew's in there, bing, bang, he's the little showboat, 
Golden Gloves, Gucci, you know, big, 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 and Stevie Catch, everyone. You couldn't hit the guys. Let me tell you what, pro punches hurt a lot more than regular punches. They punch you in the arm or the leg, your elbow, ah, ah, the ribs. It hurts. When you win a fight, you have a headache for a week. Two weeks sometimes. And I'm doing real good. I'm training. And I said, you know, the old man, I said, guess what? I think I'm gonna fight. Like I'm fighting my ass off. Throwing punches at these guys who come down to New York, the pros and everything come in there. I'm in the rings with them and throwing punches, and once in a while they would tangle up. You know, I hit somebody a couple of times. They would hit you back, and they're not supposed to, but it hurts. But I was doing pretty good, and I'm saying, guess what? I'm not even tired. Five, I'm telling you, jump rope, five rounds. Then I shadow box five rounds, then hit the bag, three to four rounds, boom, boom, from the heavy bag. You're usually tired. And then you get in the ring, and you shadow box in the ring, you get around, and then you might spar a little bit. And then after that, you spar for three or four rounds. But like I said, most of the time, for five rounds, you're so tired of ducking, and then they have another guy come, and you're boom, beep, boom, catch the jab, get out of the way, right, get under the hook, catch the jab, get out of the way to the right, get under the hook, so you gotta go beep, here's it, here it is, bing, bang, boom, and you're constantly doing that, and while you're circling the whole time, and then you turn into a piece of rubber, bing, bang, boom, you get hit, and it's fat to the year the whole time. So like I said, Tony would take advantage of that. You know, they'd hit you if he did it. But he was funny as hell. He used to fight this other big guy, I forget his name. They would go at it and everybody would cheer. Dave say Ava was a strong little bastard and if he couldn't get he would just tackle you. He just tackled everybody. The first couple fights, uh, you know, we all won our first couple fights. We were doing good. There was a club from Philly that they would bring equal fighters. They trusted each other for years and years and years. You know, it was a straight to old man would get hit all the fighters. You know, he'd have five introduced, you know, three, four, five new fighters. And then they'd have their four or five fighters. Then we'd go to Variety Club and make money for the kids. And we were all good because he wouldn't let you fight unless you were ready. You had to do that defense shit for months. So I was getting a little cocky. I keep won my first fight in front of everybody clapping, you know. We got our whole thing there, man. It's it's beautiful feel. Like, you feel like, whoa. You know, the next fight, next couple fights. I won my first couple fights. And then... And, uh, you know, Tony had a fight, and everybody had their little fights. And like Dave again, like he'd, he'd knock the first couple guys out, and then we got a couple tough guys, and he would tackle them right out of the ring, you know, just, you know. Blue 52, Dave, it's not football. He would just go right back in, or the thing would go off in his head, poof, tackle the guy out of the ring. Tony would just try to get cheap shots. But me, I get in there and tangle a little bit, you know, I try my bullshit, and so I get in there to one fight. And uh, see the guy you know, over there, he comes in, and all of a sudden he got this little flat nose, you know what I mean? I only got like eight fights or seven, a couple of fights, I don't know, that many, I don't even know. I did good, I won the first six fights or whatever. Maybe it was seven fights, I'm not sure exactly how many. I don't even that many, I'm an amateur, I'm just training, I'm an older guy. So I won a couple of the first couple of fights. So this guy comes in and uh, we go in there, old man saying, pay attention, this kid looks like he's going rough. He said, pay attention, kid, you know, don't box him, get in there and do what I told you. Don't do your jump around shit, get caught, get in there, stay on him. So I get in there, bing! I'm doing a pop. Bing! And I'm dancing around the ring and pop, 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 you know, he's catching, he's catching all my punches. And boom, boom, up. So I'm punching my shit, not in order. I'm bing, 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 and he's boop, 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 catching. Boop, 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 boop. I can't hit him, and I'm going, hey, just, bang. So I'm going, boo, boo. But he ain't hitting me or anything yet. So I'm like, I'm getting this. And he's catching every punch. And I don't know, right when I was middle, ready to do my shit, like slow motion. In my ribs, and then, boom. He did one of these, boom, boom. So check this out. I'm going in there to punch him. Punches me in the ribs, lifts me up in the air, and then the hook hits me like this. Boop, boop. So he hits me in the ribs, boop, boop, and caught my chin. I go down on one knee. I'm knocked out in my head. I'm blacked out, but I hear everything and I feel great, but I can't see nothing. And I'm starting to come out. Two, three, 
four, and I see Hank Cisco on my face, four. Ah, I'm like, Hank, I'm looking at him, I'm, like, I'm all right. He goes, you all right? Six, I said, what do you mean, I'm all right, I'm good. He goes, you sure? Seven, I said, will you stop counting, I'm good, but I can't see nothing, I'm knocked out. And then I can't see, I see Hank's face, all them marks all over, and I love Hank, but he was crazy looking, you know? And he's right in my eyes, looking at me, counting. And right before that, I'm like, I get up, or, so. Then I go at the guy and bing, the bell. Hank, uh, the bell rang, so. I'm on the corner, and I'm standing. I feel pretty good, though, I'm all right, I just got caught, you know? And old man, he's like, listen, kid, stay on this kid. Do not box him. Stay on him. Do you understand what I'm saying? Stay on the kid. Do not box him with your thing. Stay on him. And then I'm going, ah. he goes, yo, what, are you on drugs? What's wrong with you? Listen, I said, what? I'm he goes, I said, you're scaring me. He goes, you should be scared. He goes, this guy's a ringer. He's going to fuck you up. Stay on him. Do not box this motherfucker. It's a setup. They think you're something. I'm like, why do they think I'm something? I just off the street. Because I did good in the first couple of fights, so they sent a ringer in. I'm looking at the guy, he's got a flat nose, and I ain't hit one punch. I threw 800 punches at this guy. Bing, boop, boop, boop. He caught everyone. I thought some of them might have got in. Nothing. Knocks me out. Turns it around. So the bell rings. So I go on. As soon as that bell rang, I just ran at him and punched him and held him against the ropes of like a fucking maniac. And he started doing the shit, and I wouldn't even like grab and throw him against the ropes again. I was in Mustafa Hampshire, so neat on my elbows. I was fighting for my life. This guy just clocked me. I'm not letting him get a chance again. Once I see, I see that flat nose. You got one of them noses, you know, under the thing. I'm like, holy shit! Boom, 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 boom. And he started catching me a little bit, boxing, and then he got away a little bit. And I'm not even letting him get near me. Then I'm staying the whole time. Bing! Next, I made it the second round. So, so like, you're doing good. You stay on him. And he's like, kid, stay on him, kid. You, st you listen to me. I'm going to act doing it. I'm doing it. I'm just, he goes, you stay on him. You stay on him the whole fucking round. Don't you fuck. You stay on him. Don't let him up. Don't let him breathe. I'm going, Jesus Christ. What's this guy? Who is this guy? Who am I boxing? I'll hear something. It's son? Or Frazier? I don't know what the hell's going on. You know, he's got to be scared. So guess what? Same fucking thing. Bing sprinted at him. Foo, right hand, just right hand, just holding up, hold right hand, and he's rooting around the ropes, and I was throwing him against the ropes. I was pretty strong and I'm scared to death. When you're scared, you can fight. I think I threw 1,500 punches that round, they said. So, I won. And guess what? I had a headache for two weeks. Who really wins? But the thing is, I don't know. It was at the end of the round, I mean, because I was fighting my ass over the first round, but I'll never know. God rang the bell. If it was the real bell, somebody threw a rock. Bing! I don't know if somebody shot the fucking bell. But saved by the bell, that was it. But what was the question? I forget. But a couple of times, there's some other stories. I mean, when I was training a couple of times, they just had the pros come down and they let us throw punches. And I throw punches, I was pretty good at it. So I'd, you throw correct punches, they pay him to train these guys. We trained some guys, you know, and the guy came in and I, I'm, I get in there and I feel good. You know, I did all my warm ups and he goes, get in there now and throw punches at this guy. So he's not supposed to hit me, they're pros. I got six, seven fights, whatever it was. Um, boom, I'm catching this dude. Tough white guy like Kensington when I'm gone. He's a pro. Right. Boom, I'm hitting him. Boom, boom, I catch him with him, right? He goes, yo. I said, what? He goes, what? I said, stop. He goes, something's in them gloves. I said, he goes, the kid hits hard. Get out of here. What are you doing? Get out. What's wrong with you? Stop fighting. Stop being stupid. So I'm being there. Fighting around, he's throwing a couple things, boom, hit me, but like, yo, motherfucker. And the old man's not saying that. I'm like, yo, the boom, hit me, because I go, bop, bop, I hit me, boom, boom. And I caught him on the nose with a straight right after I got him with a jab, he went back, because like I said, I was pretty good at the time. 
he stops again. He goes, that's it. Something's in the gloves. He goes, what's wrong with you? He goes, the kid throws hard punches. He punches hard. Fight. Next round. Same thing. We're going to have, then we're starting to fight. He hurt. I, like I said, pro punches are different. They hurt no matter where they hit. They could hit your breast, your elbow, your shoulder. Everything hurts. Then dig your ribs hurt. Nobody, can, ah, nobody even notices the rib shots, but they hurt for weeks and that I can't breathe while I'm fighting. So, boom, I caught him again. <laughs> That's it. He goes, I'm not fighting no more. The old man goes, come here. Let me see the gloves. That's it. So he's taking my gloves. He's looking at him. He goes, where the fuck did you get these? I'm like, I almost forgot. I turned and I said, Joey. And then you see the door. You see this little thing right in the door flat out. He ran out the door. He gave me gloves. He goes, these are fucking, they got horse hair in them. How do know? What do I know? The horse hair and the gloves, they're like rock. So, uh, what was the question? I forget.